All right, everybody, welcome. This is Buggy Deer 64 once again, and we're getting ready to bring home from Chicago Hair our Lockheed L1049, or more lovingly known as the Constellation. The very first aircraft ever truly designated as Air Force One, the President's plane. Okay. And we're going to be taking her home to Greenville Spartanburg International in upstate South Carolina. That's where my home base is. And so we're going to take her home and uh, let maintenance do its thing. Although it's just general maintenance. Because our last flight from there to here was absolutely a lot of fun. So <laughs> hope you enjoy it. We're going to be taking off. In the daylight, we'll be landing in the dark. So, hope you enjoy it. Let's get ready. Let's have some fun. And we'll see you inside the cockpit. Okay, so here we are getting a checklist and getting her ready to go. Today, I am just going to use this checklist as a the portion of it that is, sets the aircraft ready for takeoff i'm going to go ahead and pre-plan my uh pushback so we'll get that done let's go ahead and uh, have the flight engineer and the rest of the crew go ahead and get this aircraft ready to fly now, the actual procedure for starting this aircraft, you're supposed to start with engine three because that's the engine that controls electrical power once you s separate from ground power. So, I thought the engineer would do it. He didn't. He started with engine one. <laughs> so, he's going to go one, two, three, and four, which is fine. He's the flight engineer. He knows how to work all this stuff, so I'll just let him do it. So, we've got four good engine starts. Go ahead and put this away. Get ready to do our pushback. Flight plan is already in our GTN 750. And today is just a direct flight going from uh, KORD to KGSP. O'Hare International to Greenville International. So let's go ahead and get things ready to go here for the pushback. It is an absolutely beautiful morning to be flying. Or afternoon, I should early afternoon, I should say. Okay, we'll get ready to do our pushback here, get the tug hook. Move our airplane. She is a beautiful aircraft. I ever saw a tug at the airport moving like this one I'd be worried I'd be giving this uh, driver a pee test the way he's wiggling that thing around So we're 
we're taking off from runway 28 right, so which is on the far end of the airport, so we've got quite a taxi ahead of us. Now our block fuel for this flight, according to SimBrief, is like only a little over 6,000 pounds. But, that being said, as the pilot of the aircraft, and that's one of the issues with this particular pushback, is once it finishes, unless you set a hold and then your parking brake early, he'll just disconnect and you've got to get to the parking brake quick because otherwise the aircraft does just start moving forward. So anyway, that's one of the uh, little issues with this particular pushback that's available. Uh, but as I was saying, as the pilot of the aircraft, I added extra fuel. I don't want any issues. Um, so right now we're carrying about 13,000 pounds, I think, which will be plenty. And that'll also allow us to get below our maximum landing weight. Okay, so pushback is done. Let's go ahead and get ready to go here. And we will speed things up because, like I said, this is a long taxi. Bingo. Oh, hey, here we are. Approaching the hold short line for runway 28 right. Such a pretty day. That's why I'm doing primarily showing the exterior of the aircraft for uh, this portion of the flight once it gets dark then uh, we'll kind of swap things around so we'll be inside the cockpit more but it's just uh, and it's such a pretty airplane I'm you know what can I say I love the old aircraft Got a jet coming in for landing. to go. Checklist are completed. Got our clearances. So let's go ahead and move out onto the runway here and do our takeoff. Absolutely great day to fly because the rest of the week the weather is going to be really bad. So we picked the right day to get, get our girl home. Okay. Oh, 
hold the brakes. Final checks. Start running the engines up to maximum thrust. are stable. Pretty good. Brake release. No-go speed today is right at 109. gradual climb. We are not 624. That is somebody else. Here coming up. I don't know who that was, but that is not us. Okay, so the flight has gone extremely well. And we are on approach to Greenville Spartanburg. Which right now is a little forward and to our left. Just about 7,200 feet right now, descending. The airport sits at uh, about 960 some odd feet, I think, uh, sea level, above sea level, so. Okay, so here we are, we're at uh, 1700 feet and we are 
approaching the runway. We are on final approach. And we got quite a bit of wind, so we were lined up, and but we got flown to the left. So now I'm uh, trying to get her down. We, she just wants to float. She does not want to land. And uh, this is my fault. Flaps to 60%. 400. Set. 300. 200. This is going to be a very long landing. Uh, might be too long. But it's a good way to test the reversers. Set. Here we are. Come on, girl. Get down now. Stop trying to climb on me. Flaps 100%. And she still wants to climb. That doesn't make any sense at all. Let's get her down. There we are. We're down. Let's get the reversers. Too well. Let's see. If, okay, let's get out of here and get off the runway. And we'll contact ground and get a parking spot. Yeah, finally got the reverse off, so now we're able to move forward. That is very strange, but as long as that landing was we got stopped plenty of time it doesn't take a lot of room to stop this aircraft when you're using the engine reversers um, they and that's one of the reasons I flew the Connie in basically third world countries on uh, un, unprepared really uh, landing fields I've seen uh, films Roger, of them landing stop. the constellation on uh, dirt and grass fields in foreign countries. There's still a couple flying today and that's that's primarily where they're used. Flops up. Very good. So now that we're off the runway and getting the aircraft cleaned up, we can go ahead and contact ground. They'll give us our parking spot. Okay, so Grand gave us a parking spot of Bravo 4. Gate Bravo 4. Which is right to the left here. And there appears to be a jet parked where I was told to park. So... I'm just going to park right behind that airplane's tail, if that is. That's just silly. Come on, ground. You're sitting in the tower right to my left. Supposed to be looking at stuff.
That's why I'm so impressed with the AI. <laughs> they do silly things like this to me. Alrighty then. Well, <clears throat> excuse me. And there you have it. Good flight. Things went well. A very long, long landing, but not bad. And it demonstrated just how good the reverse application, as long as you keep it usually no more than about 30% on the reverse engines. And uh, it'll stop this aircraft in a hurry, which it did. Uh, in most cases, I would have gone around, but I knew the Constellation could stop in the time we had left. She just did not want to land. She just kept floating and floating. So again, that's, that's my fault. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was just because I had not set my trim for a proper landing and approach. So that's my bad. It's not the airplanes. Anyway, the flight went well. The plane is home and safe. Uh, we made a little money for the our FS Airlines group, and that's always a plus. So I hope you enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun making this flight. Uh, it was, as you would say, a routine, but uh, with me flying big aircraft, or just about any aircraft, nothing's really routine. Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and until next time, this is Bug Eater 64, waiting to see you in the skies as always. And as always, remember, safe flying.